So before I start this movie review, I just want to say that this is not a movie review of Annabelle creation. It's a movie review of the first Annabelle. Um, I will be, I'm doing this because Annabelle creation, uh, came out, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to watch that. I've seen Annabelle. I'm doing a movie review of this and I'm going to do a movie review, movie review of Annabelle creation along with The Conjuring. So, um, anyway, let's get this movie review started. Um, shall we? So Annabelle was directed by John R. Leonetti, and the story is basically about these uh, this couple that basically finds out that there are supernatural events in their home um, from this vintage ancient doll uh, known as Annabelle, and later on, uh, she and the husband find out that their home is being invaded when satanic and cultist events happen. Now, I had no in anticipation for Annabelle when I first heard about it. Um, I mean, I heard it was kind of scary. I was kind of excited about that, too. And a lot of people say that this is um, the number one uh, fall down in the Conjuring universe. And to be honest, it is. This movie was going nowhere on its storytelling and stuff like that. The characters are even forgettable. The only thing I enjoyed were some of the suspense, that's basically it. But other than that, you get really confused on what the people are saying and you don't really get into it at all. Noth they don't really talk much about the doll and why it's there. It's just there. However, in The Conjuring, they do a much better way on telling the story. Because The Conjuring was just original horror story and no one knew what it was. And it was successful in so many ways. This movie is a big fall down. To many people, it's a disaster, and I can see why. Heck, I even felt bored myself I, while watching this movie. When I was watching this movie, I, was re I, I realized that, wow, this movie is boring. Like, there's nothing really anything interesting about what the characters are saying. But, or what's actually happening to these people. And there's a scene in the beginning of the movie where I think right next door to the family, there's some, like, women screaming. And she's being murdered and the lights turn on and then across from them they're like, what was that? Do you think we should call the cops or anything like that? And he goes to check it out. You're obviously going to call the cops. Who wouldn't? If you heard someone screaming, if you heard your next door neighbor screaming and the lights went on, you have to call the cops. You're obviously going to do it. There's no other choice. But the storyline is not, it's, it's just so... Uh, it's just atrocious. The, the movie's not terrible. I'll give it that. Because there are only a couple things in this movie that I like. The suspense and the doll. I did find the animal doll. It was very creepy. The, the way how they designed the doll was very creepy. I did enjoy a little bit of the suspense. Other than that, this movie goes nowhere. It's not a terrible movie. For me, it's just a bad... And another thing that kind of made me upset about the movie was when it, when I finished the movie, I was like, this movie wasn't really that good because there's a lot of things that you can do with dolls in horror movies, but they don't do it right. The storyline went nowhere, the characters went nowhere, the directing was fine, but other than that, the story is just a disappointment. It's very flat. But I will say this, the, um, the movie did not rush. I will say that. It did take its time to... to tell a story and that's what I that's one of the things I, I guess I can appreciate about this movie it did take its, its time to tell a story but the story was not clever it was nowhere near clever it was just a very disappointment that I was kind of interested in, in seeing because The Conjuring was a very good movie but this one it's just very crappy I, I'm sorry if I'm so sounding too harsh about this movie and how bad it is because this movie surprisingly is bad this movie barely surprised me I did love this, the, the suspense, and I did like some of the suspense. I appreciated some of the suspense, and the doll, the, the design of the Annabelle doll, that was good. I'm just gonna say this, if any of you haven't seen Annabelle, literally this movie gets boring, because literally most of this movie, they leave out the suspense, because almost during the entire running of the film, they leave out the suspense. I would think of this movie as a thriller 
mystery. Because during almost the entire movie, they're trying to find out what's causing these supernatural things, and they leave out the suspense most of the time, which gets boring. I'm like, when is something gonna happen? The Conjuring did a decent. The, the Conjuring did a really good job on creating the suspense. Where, where's the suspense in Annabelle? And that's one of the things that really disappointed me about the film. The story went nowhere. The actors. I feel bad for the actors in this movie because they played in a movie that they didn't necessarily have to play in. I, I'm pretty sure they tried their hardest to do good, but it just didn't work for me. And there's literally a few suspense moments in this movie. Other than that, this movie doesn't really go anywhere. It's not a terrible movie, it's just a bad movie. So yeah, Annabelle is one of those movies that I really wouldn't suggest watching. It's, it's really a waste of your time. Uh, I'm sorry um, if I made this review too serious on um, how bad this movie is, um, because it is bad. Now, if you want to watch good movies like The Conjuring or Annabelle Creation, which just came out, go ahead and watch those, because those are actually pretty good movies. But just stay away from the first Annabelle. It's literally just a waste of your time. It's really a movie that has no right to exist either. And the movie's a really a disappointment. I was excited to see this movie when I first heard about it. And when I, and when I watched this movie, I was really disappointed on how it turned out. I was kind of embarrassed for the actors in this movie too, to be honest. Now I'm going to be honest. This is not the worst horror movie of all time. It's not. But it is a bad horror movie. Nothing gets you interested in this movie. Nothing. That's another thing that that caught my attention. What 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 is the when is the what is the audience going to respond to? Nothing interesting. Barely nothing interesting is happening in this movie. So what is the audience going to respond to in this movie? The Conjuring was a movie. The the first Conjuring was a movie that came out. Everyone wanted to see it. They were excited for it. They were scared to their brains because they had no idea what happened to this family. Just the supernatural events and stuff like that. The Conjuring was a very successful movie and people were scared by it. This movie was not successful. It's a disappointment. Some people might have been scared about it. Others, they were really disappointed in how it turned out. And I know some of you might be saying, Elijah, come on. This movie's not that bad. And you know what? If you like the first Annabelle and you, if you thought it was a good movie, good for you! If you hate the first Annabelle and if you thought it was a bad movie, good for you! Everyone has their different opinions, but in my opinion, this is just a very disappointment movie. It goes nowhere with the storyline, characters aren't interesting, the directing is fine, the plot is just a disaster. Nothing interested me about this movie except for the facts, a couple of suspense, and the doll. This movie is just a heartbreaking horror film. But it's not the worst, I'm gonna give it that. There is a, only a couple of tad things in this movie that I do appreciate and like. The actors tried, even though they failed. The Annabelle doll looks creepy, kind of, and the, some of the suspense is decent enough. Those are the things that I'll give Annabelle. And I'm gonna give Annabelle a D. So guys, thank you so much for watching me do a horror movie review of Annabelle. I will be doing a horror movie review of the, uh, Annabelle Creation, along with The Conjuring, two good movies, um, and stuff like that. I will be doing some other horror movies, some good ones, some great ones, some bad ones, some terrible ones too. I do have a terrible horror movie um, that I'm going to do a review of, but it's later on maybe. And next horror movie review, I might do Rosemary's Baby, a supernatural horror film that I can't wait to review, and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, yeah. Um, sh and also, uh, I forgot, shout out to Ulysses and uh, George. Um, they're, they're amazing uh, guys. They're one of my closest friends, and just shout out, uh, shout out to them. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I am MarioFan520, and I will see you next time. Peace out.